ladies and gentlemen, today I have something pretty cool, I think, for all of you to check out, and that is the Call of Duty Mobile standalone PC version. Now, it's not exactly standalone, you can still play with mobile users, it seems like, you know, because there is crossplay, you could at least play with your mobile friends at the least. Now, it's currently in early access and only available in China, but on the full official release, it's rumored to be releasing on Battle.net. But for all of us on PC, we'll actually have a standalone upgraded kind of PC native version of COD Mobile sometime in the near future. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to access this early access version, however. But just keep in mind that this isn't going to be the final product because they're still working on it. Of course, this is simply early access. They're going to be upgrading graphics, probably messing with the UI. And there's already some clear differences and changes and upgrades to this version currently already. And of course, simply not playing on an emulator on PC and simply having it directly and natively makes things a lot smoother, a lot better, and it's an a lot better of an experience and this this game is going to be pretty huge i think when it does officially drop fully on pc in the near future but as mentioned it's currently early access only in china so this build is only in chinese at the moment so i apologize what i actually have to use is google translate on my phone i just pull up the camera on it and i can scan my screen and read everything in real time but i will show you how to install it and set it all up just in case you don't have the translator or anything like that so let's hop right into it so first up, you're going to need the COD Mobile PC version game files, of course. So that will be provided in the description down below. As a forewarning to you guys, similar to COD Online, sort of, you're going to need either a WeChat account or a QQ account. These are currently the only methods to log in or sign up for COD Mobile on PC because, of course, this is native to China right now. On full release, though, you'll be able to log in with your normal COD Mobile account, at least. But if you don't have a WeChat account or a QQ account, you could look up how to get one online. I personally was having a lot of trouble getting a QQ account, so I just got a WeChat account. That's W-E-Chat. And that's just an app you can get on the App Store. So I am on iOS. It, I was able to do it just fine on iOS, but my friend on Android was not able to do it, unfortunately. So I simply went to the App Store, downloaded WeChat from the App Store. So I had to sign up for a WeChat account and I had to register with my mobile number and then they sent me an SMS. And it's all in English, of course, at least WeChat is. But once you've successfully signed up to WeChat or you signed up to QQ, once you get to the main menu of COD Mobile here, uh, this checkbox is the privacy agreements you just want to check that and then so here is qq stuff and here is wechat stuff and this is qq android and this is qq ios this is wechat ios wechat android so i'm going to click wechat ios here it's going to pop open a browser and i don't know if i can necessarily share this code but it's going to pop up a qr code so you just go onto your wechat for example app go to discover and go to scan and then you can hold up your camera to your screen it'll scan the code and then on your phone, you can press accept and continue. And then you can choose a profile on WeChat to allow access to the game pretty much. And then now the game will actually load up and start. Now I have played this before, so it's probably not going to throw me into the tutorial. But if it does throw you into the tutorial, just uh, press escape and leave it. Okay, so you're going to have to leave it because uh, I don't think they've fully finished the tutorial section yet for native PC. So it might uh, not work out so well. Now, when you're playing your first game, just like normal COD Mobile, it's going to guide you to where to go. All right, so we can just start the game. I'm just kind of following the arrows directions. It might have thrown me into a ranked play match. I'm not sure. And uh, basically, anytime I really need to read something, because it's all in Chinese, I have to use the app, unfortunately. Wow, this game's loud. And here we are on the native PC version of COD Mobile. And I'm not sure if we're playing with only PC players or how exactly that works. Um, of course, the settings and layout of options and stuff matches COD Mobile on your phone. So if you do need to edit stuff, you can always refer to your phone version if you uh, want to mess with it. But you can see it looks pretty decent, actually, COD Mobile. It's still early access, keep in mind, so they're going to be adjusting the UI and messing with other stuff. So I can't wait to see how it ends up turning out, and hopefully it'll be like fully optimized for PC and stuff. I believe right now it actually supports 144 hertz, so that is pretty cool. And here we have COD Mobile, feeling great, 
And I just got a Hellstorm missile, we'll just call that in real quick. But yeah, guys, that was how you install COD Mobile. I, apologies, as I didn't seem to be recording audio of the game in the first kind of half of this commentary, but oh! You'd love to see it, so I'm definitely going to be checking this game out a lot and testing some different stuff. I'll make another dedicated video on it if you guys want to see some more gameplay and stuff. Can I stab this guy? Come on, come on, come on, he's running. Come on! Yeah, you can see like some of the pop-ups and stuff doesn't have like key displays and it still expects you to tap it but you can see i'm definitely on the standalone version not on any emulator or anything like that we got specialist weapons this game is definitely wacky and unique and i think this pc version is going to go hard once it's fully released let me get your guys thoughts in the comments down below and if you need any help you can get it in our discord but until next time i'll see you guys soon peace out everybody as i flame on yes yes <laughs> And yes, peace out everybody. <laughs>